What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be doing some more prep paint stuff for the 240. I need to go ahead and primer the roof, also the doors and the rear um, quarter panel I need to do that still yet. And then I can go ahead and start doing the door jams. Hopefully we can get some paint laid down today if we have enough time. I found this behind the side mirrors. This latch is frustrating me. So I tried and tried, but I can't get the screws off of this latch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it off. you guys what color we're gonna go yet so this is the color that we're gonna go it's a peachy pink color and it has a little bit of champagne and silver pearl in it kind of almost like a baby pink it looks a bit darker on the camera than it does in real life but I think it looks really good Alright, so the passenger side is all taped up. I didn't use these plastic sheets on the other side and I thought I was going to run out, that's why, but we ended up having extra so I should have just done this on the driver's side as well because it was a lot easier to tape up than the other side. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and spray some primer on here. I'm starting to run out of things. I had to use duct tape instead of blue tape but just for this section right here. And I also ran out of gray primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some white primer. We're gonna see if it works just as good. So hopefully it works out. So I decided to not be lazy and use the plastic sheet to cover this, but Blaine just went ahead and mixed the paint. What is, is this like a, what is it called? A test sample or a test one? Yes. Oh, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the bumper now since it's ready to be painted and then do the door jams. go ahead and do one or two more just so that way the color is super opaque.
in the sun. Look at how good this color looks. So we're gonna go ahead and let everything dry for a little bit and we'll come back and take off all the tape. So it's been about half an hour and everything is starting to dry up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the tape off. So I went ahead and took off all the tape and this is super cool. It looks really good. I think the best way to describe this color is probably a metallic baby pink. It's a little bit different from what I expected it to be but I kind of like it a lot better than I thought I would like the other color so I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. It looks really good especially in the sun. I never thought I would have a pink car. This is kind of crazy. And this is what the other side looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and just let everything dry overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and then I'll start putting all the door trims back together. I just don't even have words right now. I'm super excited for it. So today we're gonna be putting all the door trims back together. So I went ahead and let everything dry overnight. So this is how it's looking. I'm starting to really like the color of it. At first, I was kind of scared that it was a little bit too out there for me, but it's starting to grow on me. So this is the side that has the white primer on it. And this side is the one with the gray primer under it. We can't really tell the difference, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue using gray primer for the rest of the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting everything back together. What do you think? I think it looks really good. Look at my Easter bunny. Wow, that's cute. What do you think, Kaylee? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, baby? Yeah. It's cute, huh? How do you do that? Is it magic. Right? It's magic. Yeah, you can touch it. It looks good now that everything is put back together. Yep. Matches with the steering wheel and the shift knob. And oh, yeah. yeah all coming together so I just finished putting the passenger side together and it looks really good we also painted this bumper but I didn't do my body work good so it started to do this um, I don't know how to explain it it kind of crinkles and they think it's lifting up the primer because I didn't sand it down good beneath it so I have to sand down the whole bumper again but I guess it's good so at least I know what parts I did good what parts I did bad so that way I can do any fixing to the other bumpers and everything else before we go ahead and paint it kind of sucks but everything is all try and error I haven't done this before so everything is a learning experience so now I can go ahead and start laying primer on everything else so now the door jams have been painted and I'm super excited for it. Let me know what you guys think of the new color down in the comments below. If you guys like it, if you guys don't like it, that's fine too. I just want to know what your opinion is. So now we can go ahead and start getting the rest of the car prepped and ready for some paint. And then we'll go ahead and lay down some color as soon as possible. It's crazy, I haven't even realized that I've owned this car for over a year and just going through all the different processes of getting to it to where it's at right now has been such a good learning experience and I couldn't have done it without Blaine. So I'm so glad we got to document it and share it with you guys. So thank you guys for watching, for coming back. We appreciate all the love and stay tuned for all the new videos coming. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay good. Yeah.